Hey everybody, so I added some new things to my Macari. I know you all asked me from time to time about my Macari, so I figured I'd share with you that I added some new things. So there's some new makeup, there's some new fragrance, there's some new clothing. So when you get a chance, make sure you head over and check it out if you're interested. I just like to say it from time to time because I know people ask and I have been updating it recently, so I figured I'd give you the tea on it. Okay, let's get started. What's up everyone? It's your girl, Jail Beauty 7 here, aka Grace, and today honey we get to get to this heavy cream from Fleur. So they did this surprise launch and popped out and showed us that they had a third fragrance after the two I reviewed earlier. I have them with me of course because I'm me and I love a good Fleur moment. So y'all know I did caramel skin and coconut skin. The thumbnail should be over here. About a week ago, I literally put this video up the day that this one launched August the 1st. So y'all know I ordered it. I was up at two in the morning like, where is it? Is it far? I need it, thank you. I dream to be on their PR list sometime next year, hopefully at the end of this year. I don't know, but like y'all know I be on it. When Fleur comes out, I'm reaching, I'm snatching, I'm grabbing. But let's get into this view. First off, hello. If you like new makeup <laughs> release videos, if you like the ladies, complexion videos i'm actually trying out the dior contour stick and foundation stick on my face at this very moment if you like a good dupe moment i have duped some fragrances like i try the dua brand dupes and see if they're just as good as the original fragrances if you like fragrance videos definitely check out some of the ones i've done i did the love sh sh love shack fancy endless dreams pack. I've tried some of the latest eyeshadow palettes that have come out and giving y'all dupes on some of the latest eyeshadow palettes that have come out to tell you why you don't necessarily need to pick them up. So if you like that sort of content along with a little bit of fashion here and there then this is definitely the place for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So now let's actually get into this fragrance. So this is currently sold out. The owner said that they're trying to restock it on their website. This one is exclusive to their website but you can pick up caramel skin and coconut skin at Sephora in addition to their website. If you do pick this up from their website make sure you use the code top note because you can get I think 10 or 15 percent off your first purchase because it's for um new people who sign up in order so make sure you use that code but let's get into what this scent smells like so of course it's a gourmand I've noticed that they've been doing lots of gourmands lately I don't know if it's because they know everybody loves a good vanilla gourmand fragrance so they're gonna make sure they get their coin and themselves in on the action but it has the top notes of lemon sugar marshmallow and orange then it has the heart notes of jasmine bloom coconut cream and vegan amber amber totally I hope I'm saying that right. And then the base note is vanilla mousse, salted caramel, and whipped cream. So y'all know, I was all about this. I smelled it. I saw it. I was like, yes, I need it. I need it. I need it. So let's see what she smells like, girl, because as usual, I have not smelled it. Mm, that smells interesting. I usually wait to try out things with you all instead of smelling them on my own. I know I am so generous now. But <laughs> like, let's see what she smells like. So... Mm, okay. It smells it smells really nice. It definitely smells the marshmallow in it and the whipped cream and the vanilla mousse and the lemon sugar. Yeah, those are the main things I smell in this for sure. Let me spray the other side. Cause my plan is like I'm gonna leave it wear it mainly in these two areas right here on its own and then I have each wrist that I want to pair it with a particular fragrance. Like one, I was thinking about pairing it with caramel skin just because I was like, you know, that'd be cute. Oh, I forgot I need to spray four on each side because with body mist you have to, you know, like do four. So three, four. Three, four. But yeah, y'all, I love, 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 love the way this smells so far. It's definitely giving me all the feels. Mm -hmm. this, this is definitely my type of scent. So, I have a few fragrances I feel like might pair well with this as usual. So, let's talk through some of those while I'm letting this dry down. So, just upon smelling it, I have done a battle of these. I swear it'll be up soon. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm behind in fragrance reviews. But, I have the Ocha That Girl Viral Vanilla with Paul. I definitely feel like it would pair really nicely with this one. Especially because it has marshmallow and this has marshmallow as well. So, I feel like they'll be a nice touch. Yeah, I definitely could see myself pairing with this. I'm not going to do it in this video today. Of course, then we have La Tapas Eclair. That's supposed to be a good alternative to what is it called? Um, I always get it wrong. Bianco Latte, I believe is what it's called. This one smells amazing. I do have a battle coming up with the one I just showed you all, the Ocha Viral Vanilla. 
and this one so that should be up hopefully sometime next week next i feel like it might go good with commodities milk i think i want to put it with commodities milk honestly just because i feel like they'll make a nice match again i remember correctly this one has marshmallow in it as well so i'm trying to find stuff to bring more of the marshmallow out but still bring out some of the elements of vanilla to it so i could definitely see myself possibly pairing it with this the note should be popping up on the screen as this is going yeah, I can see this being a possible contender. I don't know if I'm 100% sure I will, but I can definitely see it as a contender of one to pair it with. I'm smelling a little bit more coconut and... Yeah, the coconut cream and lemon I'm smelling a little bit more of now that it's dried down. So when you initially spray it, you definitely smell the vanilla. You definitely smell the um, lemon and you definitely smell the marshmallow. Now that it's calmed down, I'm smelling more like lemon coconut cream and a tiny bit of marshmallow and a tiny bit of vanilla I was thinking maybe it would go nicely with yum pistachio as well so I think this might be our match y'all I think I want to put it with this one especially because I'm smelling like a lot of the lemon and um, coconut cream now I feel like this would pair very nice with it so I think we're gonna go with um, Kayali I thought about the bat if I think of some when I come back after we've done our wear test throughout the night because I'm going to a concert tonight so we're gonna see how long this is going to wear it is um 1 15 now the concert starts at like 7 so um I want to see if it at least smells good like um halfway through the concert but this is sniffs heal the way with Alex Ely I hope I'm saying that right and this smells really nice too but I'm going to stick to my guns and we're going to put it with yum pistachio i had one more in here this is called chai eclair i found this at marshall's i think this is from the older line from Le Mon gourmand if you all remember i did a review on their um three creator collab my favorite one was the peach um crumble one it smells like peach cobbler kind i liked that one and i actually followed that girl on um lemonade when i was telling y'all i didn't know any creators i didn't realize it was her until she posted like her campaign pictures on her lemonade page and that's when i was like oh okay so i do know one of the creators of this collection random side note but this smells like it might go nicely with um the that girl viral vanilla and the eclair i don't know i haven't smelled it yet but I threw it in here because I figured it might go good. So those are some I might pair in the future, not necessarily right the second though. So we're going to go ahead and put Miss Yum Pistachio on now. So I'm going to put Yum Pistachio on the wrist. And I'm going to do one. Oh, it went the wrong way, y'all. One, two of those. So let's put it together. Okay see how we feel on pat on this side as well just kind of get an idea but i feel like these are going to smell really nice together they definitely give like that typical sweet pistachio but i like the nice rum and then like the lemon that goes along with it so i feel like they would be a nice companion scent together i meant to bring my boardwalk delight as well because i feel like that might go good with it because it has marshmallow in it so the picture of that should be up here so you can get an idea of what it looks like i told y'all like I'd be thinking of things throughout the day and throughout wearing stuff and trying stuff. So I'm thinking of that. I kind of want to pair it with caramel skin. Just to see if it bring more of the caramel out of it. So I might pair it with caramel skin right here on this side. And then we'll just leave this side as the scent on its own. Because it's like I don't want to pair it with too much stuff. And then we'd be doing too much. So matter of fact, I think I'll just save this for a another day to pair and update you all down below because i don't know when this video is going to go up but i think i'm gonna pair these two together tomorrow to see how it feels if you all remember i wasn't a huge fan of the coconut one i have put with a couple other things that i like okay but as you can see like i've been using the caramel one the most because that was the one that most appealed to me but you know it's nice anyway uh we have tried all the fragrances i have told you my initial thoughts on it so i will come back and talk to you all later on tonight about how i feel like the fragrance wore throughout the night it is a body spray so just keep that in mind that's why i did four on each side to put it with and then i paired it with the fragrance so we we'll see how they pair together that's why i prefer to do my reviews because it's like i usually put body sprays with fragrances or i'll usually put like you know body sprays on their own and just double spray it when I have to go run the errands and stuff so I sprayed them based upon that premise of what I normally do the only thing that sucks is since I've sprayed the 
perfume on top of the body spray you're supposed to put the perfume underneath and then the body spray on top that's the only concern i have with it although since it's a perfume i feel like we'll still smell it it's just we might not be able to smell the other fragrance as well oh it does smells really nice together like i definitely smell the lemon and the coconut cream coming through with um the whipped cream and rum and you know pistachio that's and marshmallow that's in the kyle one so they smell good so far together i'm really liking that combination but we'll have to see how it wears throughout the day it does smell a little bit like, kind of like the coconut like the you know artificial uh, like more earthy coconut that i smell in the coconut skin which makes me not like it so that's the only little bit of downside i'm seeing but because it's so sweet and has the marshmallow and the lemon and other things in it i feel like i can put sweeter fragrances in it to balance it out so i feel like that one will be okay the coconut one is just the one that's uh, my least favorite out of all the ones i've tried this year when it comes to flirt but i'm gonna go off camera get my life in order and i'll talk to you all later on tonight okay girl okay Okay, y'all, so I'm back from the concert. I put on some eyes because y'all remember I had on this face earlier, but I added some eyes. So I just put on the Dior Burgundy, Dior Backstage Burgundy quad on my eyes to make that work out or whatever. But let's get into these fragrances. So remember we have um, Yum Gelato, Yum Pistachio Gelato from Kaeli alongside Heavy Cream here. And then we just have Heavy Cream on its own right here. So let's see how they smell it. I hardly smell too much of anything, but it, okay. On this side, I can still really smell it pretty well. I actually smell a nice little mixture of both of them together. I feel like I smell more of the Fleur Heavy Cream, believe it or not, than I do the Kayali, but I can still smell both scents. It's a nice little mixture of both, and I'm shocked because it is 11.30 at night, and y'all know I put this stuff on at like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so... Here I still smell a very, 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 very faint scent of it. I don't smell as much, but it's because it's not mixed with the actual perfume. It was just on its own and I didn't expect it to last that long. But I still smelled it when I went to leave for the concert. And I left for the concert at like 6.30 and I got there like 7.15 or something like that. So it lasted for a good close to eight hours as I expected it to. And I was thoroughly impressed with it as I normally am with my flirt fragrances. The only one that was a downside to me was um coconut skin. So far this year that's my um flirt fragrance I'm disappointed in. But yeah I really like it. I meant to say that you could put it with Dolce from by Rosie Jane. That's the one um fragrance I forgot to tell you all about that you can put it with so that should be popping up over here i had fun at the concert like i said if anyone cares but i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds make sure you subscribe the membership is down below if you're interested i'll catch you guys in the next one now be advised that this fragrance is currently sold out on Fleur's website you can only get it on Fleur's website at the time i'm filming this hopefully they've restocked it by the time this video goes up but be blessed girl bye just because the video ended doesn't mean the fun has to make sure you follow me on instagram for the latest clothing fragrance and palette comparisons before they hit my YouTube channel.